Care. What makes it so special? How is it, Mr. Peter? Is it the way it makes us feel? How it makes us smile? No. The special thing about care is that it doesn't care. It doesn't care who you are, where you're from. Is everything okay? It doesn't care if you're family or a complete stranger. It doesn't care how difficult things get. It always pulls through. You see, care is not something only found in the best of us. Take it slowly, okay? Well done. It lives in all of us. Yep. Distinguished guests, award-winning recipients, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the AIC Community Care Manpower Development Award Ceremony 2021. That was a beautiful video. This video is part of AIC's Born to Care campaign to drive the key message that we have in us, the innate ability to care and to inspire more Singaporeans to make caring their calling in community care. Thank you for joining us here this morning at this year's virtual ceremony. I hope that everyone continues to stay safe during this pandemic. However, social distancing cannot stop us from coming together to honour and celebrate the achievements of this year's CCMDA awardees together with their colleagues and families. Singapore's community care sector will become increasingly vital with the changing demographics and the Ministry of Health's shift in its strategic focus beyond healthcare to health and beyond hospitals to the community. Before we journey on, it's timely to revisit how far we have come as one community care family over the last one year and how we intend to grow and transform the sector ahead. Hence, this year's theme on celebrating growth and transformation in community care. Before we commence, let me introduce our distinguished guests. Guest of Honour, Dr. Kopo Kun, Senior Minister of State, Ministry of Health. AIC Chairman, Dr. Gerard E. AIC CEO, Mr. Tan Kwang Chiek, as well as the CEOs of our community care organizations. Thank you so much for your tremendous contributions to the community care sector and for gracing CCMDA 2021. Without further ado, I'd like to invite Dr. Gerard E, Chairman of AIC, to give a short opening address. Dr. E, please. Thank you. Dr. Ko Po Kun, Senior Minister of State for Health, all the extraordinary individuals providing care to our community, ladies and gentlemen, fellow board members. It is the second year that we are having our CCMDA ceremony conducted virtually. Firstly, I would like to thank everyone in the community care center for their commitment, especially during these challenging endemic times. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to all the CCMDA award recipients. A very big thank you, Dr. Ko, for joining us on this joyous occasion honoring our ComCare contributors, their families and colleagues. Over the last few years, our community care sector has grown significantly in capabilities and capacity development. With the shift in MOH strategic focus, 
from hospitals to the community and increasing demands arising from our aging population, we need to continue to grow and transform our sector to support and empower fellow Singaporeans to live well and age gracefully. One example of such initiative is the AIC Born to Care campaign that aims to raise greater awareness and interest in the sector to attract more locals and talents to join community care. These are essential human resources development efforts led by AIC in partnership with our service providers to build substantial and sustained human resources and talent pipeline for the sector. On behalf of AIC, I would also like to convey our most profound appreciation to all our community care staff and leaders for your hard work and dedication during this very challenging period. Your strong sense of purpose and tenacity to constantly reach out and care for your clients is highly commendable, even when the going gets tough. Despite your work commitments, it is heartening to know that many of you are still learning and deepening your professional expertise so that you can give your best to the ones you serve. I wish all of you safe, happy life ahead and continued commitment and look forward to your contributions to the sector. Blessings to all of you. A big thank you. Thank you, Dr. E. I would like to welcome our guest of honour, Dr. Kopo Kun, Senior Minister of State, Ministry of Health, to address our recipients for this year's award. Dr. Ko, please. Thank you. Dr. Gerard E, Chairman, Agency for Integrated Care AIC, Mr. Tan Kwan Chiak, CEO for AIC, Distinguished Guests, Award Recipients, Ladies and Gentlemen, a very good morning. I'm delighted to be back once again, at the annual Community Care Manpower Development Awards or CCMDA ceremony. It didn't feel too long ago when we were just at this ceremony last year, but certainly time has, has passed quite quickly, even uh, in the midst of a COVID pandemic. And, and you know, every year we come back together to try and honor the achievements of many of our contributors and our staff in the community care sector. Since the CCMDA was launched in 2017, we have presented more than 550 CCMDA awards. This year, we are happy to present more than 160 awards, our largest number ever. To our award recipients, congratulations, but more importantly, thank you for your commitment to upskill yourselves despite such challenging times. To our community care organizations, thank you for investing in the careers of your employees. COVID-19 has disrupted our lives, our work, and our studies, but it has also shown a spotlight on the sacrifices and contributions of our healthcare workers, especially those in the community care sector. Amidst the uncertainty of 2020, we read many heartwarming stories of healthcare workers who place duty above themselves. You saw in the video at the beginning of this ceremony that the ability to care is present in every one of us. And for us in the community care sector, compassion is the engine that drives many of the things we do in healthcare. And our healthcare workers have demonstrated the ability to demonstrate compassion very perfectly. In the past one and a half years, there has been a groundswell of appreciation for healthcare workers and a surge of interest in the work that they do. Within the community care sector, more CCMDA awards have been given to fresh entrants to the sector. This shows that there is growing recognition and interest in this sector, particularly among younger Singaporeans. One of them is Ms. Tan Hui Yi, who has taken up a CCMDA award to pursue a social works degree at NUS after completing her A-levels. She became interested in the community care sector when a family member shared her end-of-life wish was to pass on at home. As she learned more about the critical role played by the sector in caring 
for elderly Singaporeans, it spurred her passion to help seniors find comfort in aging with dignity and passing on in a familiar environment. As a fresh graduate, Hui Yi will join Lia Moi Nursing Home as a medical social worker. I salute her desire to help seniors age with grace. Thank you for stepping up and be the next generation that will carry the baton forward. To make CCMDA more accessible to fresh entrants like Hui Yi, we launched a new CCMDA website and an online application portal on BrightSparks in January. This one-stop portal allows students to learn more about the community care sector and submit their applications. We hope that many more will come to know about the community care sector, know them better, and also to choose in pursuing a fulfilling career in this sector with its wide array of job opportunities. Even as Singapore learns to live with COVID-19, we will continue to face new unknown challenges. We must therefore remain vigilant, constantly innovate, and refine our processes so that we can provide better care to the patients that we serve. All of you are here today because you have taken up further studies to enhance your skill sets to meet the changing needs of our patients. The constant desire to learn and upskill will be critical for us to be a future ready workforce. We also need strong leadership to tackle the challenges ahead. As nurses play a key role in the community care sector, we need strong nursing leadership and strong nursing leaders to guide us forward and push new boundaries in care delivery. Last year, we launched the Community Care Nursing Leadership Program, the CCNLP, to attract and develop nursing leaders in community care organizations. Our first batch of 16 nurses will benefit from this clinical training, leadership development, attachments, and executive coaching to nurture them as future nursing leaders. One of them is Ms. Kwek Yen Ting, a nurse manager from Dover Park Hospice. Yen Ting is also a proud recipient of the CCMDA Awards today, where she has been sponsored to pursue a specialist diploma in palliative care nursing. She will be sharing more about her career aspirations via a live chat session later, and I certainly hope her story will resonate with all of you and motivate you to pursue continual growth and learning. For those of you who are leaders and managers, I hope her sharing will also inspire you to seek out opportunities to support your team's growth. Future-proofing the community care workforce goes beyond the individual. Organizations too must stay nimble and be willing to embrace change. Last year, I announced that we will embark on a job redesign, this job redesign effort for staff in community care and in support care. The aim was to blend different support care roles, functions, and encourage cross-deployment, multi-scaling, and enhanced career progression. I'm happy to update that our four community care organizations have come on board to test out the redesign role through a work trial. The redesign role focuses on enhancing support care staff's skills in basic nursing, therapy tasks, and psychosocial care. This creates a blended role that can open up opportunities for staff to further their skills and wage progression. With the learning from this pilot phase, we look forward to supporting early adopters in the next phase of our job redesign journey and encourage more community care organizations to come on board this, uh, this particular effort. So in closing, let me say that our community care workers play a critical role in looking after not just the physical health of our seniors, but importantly, their social and psychological well-being, well-being too. I want to encourage all community care employers to work with AIC and invest in your workforce by strengthening their capabilities, developing leaders, and creating opportunities for career progression. This will make the sector much more attractive to job seekers. Through the years, the CCMDA has provided substantial opportunities and support to attract new entrants, as well as retain and upskill our community care workforce. For all the CCMDA award recipients today, we applaud your attitude towards lifelong learning, and we fully support your aspirations to innovate and enhance care delivery. AIC and MOH will support you with more career development and progression pathways, and help you keep pace with changing community care needs. Once again, congratulations to all our CCMDA award recipients. 
I wish you the very best as you embark on this meaningful journey to improve the lives of our seniors, helping them live and age well at home and in the community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Ko, for joining us today. We are delighted to have you join us virtually. Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the highlight of today's program, the awards presentation. If you're joining us on YouTube Live, do send your well wishes and congratulatory messages to our awardees. Simply post your congratulatory messages in the comment section now and celebrate this proud moment with our recipients. I have the honor to present to you the first round of 44 Community Care Mempire Development Award recipients. Active Global Respite Care Private Limited Diana Putri Razmara Nora Binti Sali and Yap Meike. Ang Mo Kyo Tai Hua Kwan Hospital, Li Tui. Muhammad Haris bin Ghazali Pania Salvam Sutarani King Wen Song Zhuo E.Y.A. Equaling Kelly And finally, Zafira Binti Zakria Sissy Hospice, Chiu Pei Jun, Linda. Ong Sok Ting. Pang Xiao Wei, Juni. And Tam Chi Leong. Awa Limited. Ibrahim bin Raja. Nor Aisha binti Abdul Rahman. Nur Ilin Shazrina binti Muhammad Sharil. And Sumati, daughter of Raja Gopal. Bram Center. Lily Gan. And Pang Li Shan. Care for the Elderly Foundation Singapore. Brian Po Huai Wun. Terrace Manor Nursing Home. Constance Wu Luo Tzu. Dementia Singapore.
Chan Eugene Ben. And Li Wei Xuan. Dover Park Hospice, Chong Yun Ling. Catherine Lim Tsi Hui. Mala Tae Ang. And Kwek Yen Ting. Econ Healthcare Asia Limited. Beatrice Stephanie Valdez Agate. Marcus Un Jiliang. And Yong Wei Lun. HCA Hospice Care. Dr. Grace Ng Mei Chan. Paul Basham. Peng Lisi Nicole and Sun Chin Elias Sun Si Kwong Wai Shu Hospital Nabila Binti Muhammad Elfian Lia Moy Old Age Home, Tan Hui Yi, Lions Home for the Elders, Du Jin, Methodist Welfare Services. Christine Lo Wen Ji, and Dr. Dennis Cha Bing Ju, Montfort Care, Jenna Lim Jia In. Muhammad Afif Arifin bin Abdullah Pei Seng Yi Gina and Timothy William Henry Congratulations to our first batch of award recipients. Ladies and gentlemen, before we continue with the presentation of the second batch of Community Care Manpower Development Award recipients, I would like to invite Ms. Kwek Yen Ting, Nurse Manager at Dover Park Hospice, at our next live chat segment. Yen Ting is one of the proud CCMDA recipients this year and she is also one of the inaugural batch of 16 community nurses to be placed on the Community Care Nursing Leadership Program, CCNLP. 
It is definitely double happiness for Yenting. Let us hear more about her inspirational journey in community care. Hi, Yenting. After 12 years of nursing experience in the public health care sector, what inspired you to make a career switch to the community care sector? Being an ICU nurse, I used to manage patients with complex life-threatening health conditions. Despite the multi-model medical intervention, some patients fail to respond to the treatment. For this reason, I spent a substantial amount of time providing end-of-life care to dying patients and their family. I realized the importance of knowing when to let go. Just as Dame Cicely Orders mentioned, how people die remains in the memory of those who lived on. This statement resonates with me, especially after I witnessed how my grandma passed on without a palliative on board. Therefore, I decided to take a leap of faith and step out of my comfort zone by joining Door Park Hospice to learn and broaden my knowledge in different aspects of nursing. Coming to Door Park Hospice, I have learned five things that matters in life. That is, asking for forgiveness, offering forgiveness, saying I love you, thank you, and goodbye. These five actions may seem simple, but each of them has a deep meaning to it, which helps with healing and eliminates what if after a person passes on. For this reason, I feel that working in Dover Park Hospice has opened my eyes to another spectrum of nursing that I did not experience while I was working in an acute hospital. In palliative care, it is not just about managing physical care for the patient, but also paying special attention to their emotional and psychosocial needs. I view each day as a learning opportunity where I get to discover new knowledge in providing a truly holistic care for the patient. This is what motivates me every day. Thank you for sharing so openly, Yenting. Can you also share with us your thoughts about your successful CCNLP placement and your longer-term career aspirations in the sector? I am actually thankful and honoured to be part of the programme. I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to my nursing director, Ms. Chin So Man, and my organisation, Dover Park Hospice, for the great opportunity to widen my horizon and exposure. The programme also offers structured development opportunities and support that would help to refine my clinical skill and leadership skill as I continue to grow my career with the community care sector. Moving forward, I wish to use the knowledge that I have acquired to empower nurses and lead them to greater heights. I hope that together as a team, we can provide patients with quality care that is holistic and safe, ensuring that every moment matters. Finally, Yenting, how do you intend to contribute to your organization or the wider sector after the completion of your specialist diploma in palliative care nursing? I have been very blessed to be guided by many mentors in my career. I wish to do the same for the future generation of healthcare providers. With the new knowledge, I hope to make nursing career more meaningful by educating and guiding nurses who are new to the job or in the palliative care setting. Learning is a lifelong journey. I look forward to contribute to the nursing practice through research study. Thank you. A round of applause for Yan Ting. Thank you so much for being an inspirational role model. Now we certainly hope that your exciting and fulfilling development journey will inspire more nurses to join the growing community care family. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, let us give our fullest attention to the second batch of Community Care Manpower Development Award recipients. I have the honor to present to you the second batch of 51 Community Care Manpower Development Award recipients. NTUC Health Cooperative Limited, Fu Chin Lian, Li Wei Chi Kess. Nishantini, daughter of Pat Manaban. Nurujana Binti Abdul Kafo.
Oliander Lee Si Min. Tan Yu Wan Angeline. Tang Sok Ting Christina. Po Kar Ting. And Zarina Binti Muhammad Hairi. Rinsi Hospital. Ng Chor Lin. Joyce Lim Ng Wen. Low Mei Ling Brenda Lorraine Kel Jing Wen Noor Sahara Binti Kamsani Sri Hazwani binti Muhammad Yusuf and Zuraida binti Sulaiman Singapore Anglican Community Services Cindy Lowe And Jonathan Polin. Singapore Association for Mental Health. Muhammad Shazwan bin Muhammad Suri. Singapore Christian Home. Fu Chuan Wan. Sing Health Community Hospitals Dr. Apurva Tanju Dr. Bernard Ko Tat Yuen Dr. Eugene Lee Joshua Christopher Lim Liu Li Fong Melody Lei Lai And finally, Thurga Devi K. Sina Vasagam Naidu. Society for the Aged Sick. Tio Ifen, Wendy. SPD, Kwek Siu Ling. Sri Narayana Mission Singapore Raveti Achutan St. Hilda's Community Services Noor Shakira Binti Alias
St. Luke's Elder Care Limited. Ha King Moon Jeffrey. Marilyn Lee Mian Hui. Mokmun K. Vivian. Ng Chong Chi. Tay Lian Pew. And Wu Junjie. St. Luke's Hospital. Hena Tan Lee Sin. Isabel Tan Lin Ming. Jin Lim Si Hui Lim Hui Yun Luo Yan Ting Mi Xue In Jot No Bue Palewa So E Tu A And Tan Siu Ling, Caroline. St. Andrew's Community Hospital. Daryl Kwek Siu Hong. Lakshana, daughter of Rajendran. Lin Wen Wei Ng Jian Wen and Ng Jing Mei Congratulations to our second batch of award recipients. Once again, heartiest congratulations to our second batch of award recipients. Before we welcome the third batch of CCMDA awardees, here is a short social experiment film that was produced as part of AIC's Born to Care Phase 2 campaign this year to show that it is in all of us to care. Please sit back and enjoy the video. Can someone help? Excuse me, can you help? Excuse me, can you help me? Yeah. Yeah, can you help? Uh, probably you should get that. Actually, I also don't have a bike, but... 
I'm just trying to see if I can sort it out. Okay. Yeah. That was very heartwarming indeed to see our people going the extra mile to help fellow Singaporeans. We hope this video would inspire more Singaporeans to consider a rewarding career in community care to help our seniors live and age well in their golden years. I have the honor to present to you the final batch of 44 Community Care Manpower Development Award recipients. The National Kidney Foundation Ahmad Daniel bin Ahmad Mansour Alina Tan Sihui Alicia Liao Bunting Andrew Yong Zen Wen Ashley Tan Hui Lin Bai Sheng Nan Chan Shu Wan Faith Chong Eng Si Jennifer Nguyen Nok Sao Chi Kavita Angel Lee Yi Wang Ivan Lian Sin B Lo Xiao Swam Muhammad Siddiq Amin bin Abdul Samad Muhammad Azri bin Johari Nor Amali bin Rabat Nor Haliza binti M. Zahai Pang Getsun Pereira Natalie Kate Bobilla Pun Xiao Yan Kwek Su Yin Ravi Chandan Silakani Sis 
Siti Khadija Binti Ismail. Sobana Kumari. We Kai Lung Aloysius. And finally, Zhou Hongyin. Zuchi, Singapore. Yo Po Ai. Vanguard Healthcare Private Limited. Brian Wong. Norhidaya Binti Sarifuddin. Nordina Lalisa Binti Muhammad Zuraimi. Siyue Vanessa. And Shane Ong Chen Ping. Yishun Community Hospital. Dr. Andrea Kwa Yen Ling. Dr. Men Si. Dr. Wee Pang Ping. Fadlon Binti Shaikh Dawood. Gomez Mariana Akilasha. Joey Lim Yin Yin. Karen Tan Yong Lei Lizdia Dina Binti Mohamad Noor Nyo Wan Ti Phoebe Ng Shin Ro Ravina Michele Pile and Shobana Sugumar. Congratulations to all award recipients. To build a future-ready community care workforce, it is important we continue to inculcate a spirit of lifelong learning amongst our staff and sector leader. This year, we would like to recognize Dr. Lo Ikin, CEO of St. Andrew's Community Hospital, and Associate Professor Kenny Chan, CEO of St. Luke's Elder Care, who have been selected for the prestigious award offered by Harvard Singapore Foundation to pursue the Strategic Perspectives in Nonprofit Management, the SPNM program by Harvard Business School. 
a highly competitive program offered to selective candidates from different countries, the SPNM program is designed to equip CEOs of nonprofit organizations with strategic perspectives, practical frameworks, and leadership skills to drive high performance across the organization. Both CEOs have completed the program that was delivered virtually in June this year. We are heartened to know that they benefited much in terms of their leadership development and learning through this program. Please join me in congratulating Associate Professor Kenny and Dr. Lo. St. Luke's Elder Care Limited, Associate Professor Kenny Tang. St. Andrew's Community Hospital, Dr. Lo Ik Hin. Congratulations to all award recipients. Congratulations to all 141 Community Care Mempar Development Award recipients. Give yourselves a round of applause. We know that you will enjoy and make the best of your learning experience ahead and we look forward to your positive contributions to the sector. Before we move on to the final segment of the ceremony, we have put together a little surprise for this year's awardees. We have produced a short video collage of congratulatory messages from your colleagues, supervisors and CEOs to appreciate, honour and celebrate your achievements. Due to time constraint, we will not be able to show the full 20-minute video of collated messages and videos here, but rest assured that we will be uploading it on the AIC CCMDA website for your viewing pleasure after the ceremony. In the meantime, do sit back and enjoy the highlights video. Congratulations, Stephanie, Haida, Weilun, and Marcus. Welcome to the community care sector and the Econ family. We hope you find your careers here fulfilling and purposeful as we walk the journey to make a difference to the lives of seniors and families. Once again, congratulations, take care and stay well. Hi Ben and Wei Xuan. Today is the day where we are celebrating your award, your CCMDA award. I believe you will be very surprised to see me. The two of you, thank you very much um, to embark in this journey with Dementia Singapore. We believe that your effort is very much valued and appreciated. Thank you. Warmest congratulations to all our award recipients, especially those from Sing Health Community Hospitals who have chosen to make a difference. And I'm sure great things will come from all our award winners. Your passion and commitment will see you break new boundaries in healthcare. All the best. Congratulations to all nine recipients from St. Andrew's Community Hospital. Special thanks also to the Agency for Integrated Care for running this program and for organizing this meaningful event. I wish all recipients the very best as they grow to provide better care for the community. Congratulations. Congratulations to all recipients of CCMDA. It hasn't been easy for you to balance work and learning during this pandemic. Your determination is inspiring and I believe the new knowledge and skill you acquire will enable you to provide better care for our patients, residents and clients. Congratulations for being a proud recipient of the CCMDA Sponsorship Award. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations so rarely seen in the younger generation to want to make a difference in the lives of our elders to give our elderly happiness in their final years. We are blessed that you have her with us and congratulations Constance on getting this award.
Hai Hui, glad that you have joined our DMY family. Congrats for your CCMDA award. Hope you'll continue the great work with our elderly residents. Great job. Hai Hui, congratulations. Wish you all the best in your dream job. Keep up the good work, supporting the needy, and welcome to our family. Thank you. Congratulations. I would like to express our sincere thanks to you for your hard work and going above and beyond during this challenging time with COVID-19 restrictions and changing requirements. Again, congratulations on receiving this special award. It is well deserved and we are very proud of you. Hello everyone. This is Adi Hajo from Ang Mong Kyo Tai Hua Kwan Hospital. Thank you for taking the challenge of improving yourselves and uplifting the skill set in the entire sector. I would like to congratulate all of the CCMDA awardees. Thank you and the best of luck to all of you. Congratulations all our CCMDA award recipients. Lee Fong, Durga Devi, Hui Mei, as well as Yok Choi. I hope you all have enjoyed or enjoying, still enjoying your program, the program that you are on. And my heartiest congratulations again. On behalf of HC Hospice Care, I would like to congratulate our staff, our doctors, Dr. Winnie, Dr. Grace, our nurses, Sun Chen, Nicole, and our uh, medical social workers, Paul and Desmond, for achieving the CCMDA. I'm so proud that you are all stepping up to acquire more skills and more knowledge to service and support our patients better. Thank you once again and congratulations. We hope you have enjoyed the video as much as I did. I would like to invite Mr. Tan Kwang Chek, Chief Executive Officer of AIC, to deliver the closing remarks. Mr. Tan, please. Good morning, everyone. I would like to thank you again for being here with us at the CCMDA ceremony this morning. I also like to thank SMS Co, as well as Chairman AIC, Dr. Gerard Yi, also for being here together with all of us. On behalf of everyone, I'd like to extend once again our heartiest congratulations to all our CCMDA award recipients for their achievement and their contribution, commitment, and passion for the community care sector now and going ahead. I would also like to express our deepest appreciation to their families and loved ones 
for their unwavering support and care for all our community care staff so that they can continue to give their best at work. The Community Care Manpower Development Award is one of the key ways that the Ministry of Health, as well as the Agency for Integrated Care, recognizes and support the important and fantastic work that our community care colleagues actually do every day and as our everyday hero to make a difference to the sector and to their clients, residents, and seniors. And this is particularly so during this very challenging COVID-19 period. These awards also represent our firm commitment to support their professional upgrading effort and to stretch and develop themselves to the fullest and to be able to continue to make the difference to their clients, the residents, and the seniors. And we hope to inculcate the spirit of lifelong learning among all of us so as to continue to grow professionally, personally, and continue to contribute towards our purpose that we are all working towards in the community care sector. As one community care family, let's continue to inspire and encourage each other on our journey to grow and transform our care community. And this is with the aim of being the heart of care for our Singaporeans, our residents and clients and seniors that we look after and care for, but also one that empowers our Singaporeans to live well and age gracefully, you know, going ahead. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations once again. Thank you, Mr. Tan. The event is not over yet. Kindly stay on for a mega group photo taking. All awardees, together with Dr. Ko, Dr. E and Mr. Tan, will be forming a heart shape for the photo taking segment. We have come to the grand finale of the event. As mentioned, all awardees together with Dr. Ko, Dr. E and Mr. Tan will be forming a heart shape for this photo taking segment. The heart represents the core of why we work hard and give our best to touch the lives of clients we serve. It also reminds us of our collective purpose, passion and all the dedicated staff who collectively form the heartbeat of the community care sector. Ladies and gentlemen, please switch on your video cameras to take part in the mega group photo taking session together with Dr. Ko, Dr. E and Mr. Tan. To mark this joyous occasion, we will now invite our distinguished guests, Dr. Ko, Dr. E and Mr. Tan to launch the grand finale sequence by activating the digital confetti cannons. On the count of three, please activate the confetti cannons. One. Two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's event. On behalf of AIC, I would like to congratulate all CCMDA award recipients on your stellar achievements. Once again, a round of applause for yourselves. The celebration doesn't end here. You can still visit our virtual photo booth to take a photo with your fellow colleagues and family members to commemorate this special day by scanning the QR code on the screen right now. We would also like to thank our guest of honor, Dr. Ko Po Kun, Senior Minister of State, Ministry of Health, for gracing the award ceremony. 
Thank you everyone for joining us on this happy occasion and for taking time off from your busy schedules to recognize and celebrate with our awardees. Stay safe, stay well and have a great day ahead. We look forward to seeing you at next year's CCMDA ceremony.